Monkey's Emporium, the coolest vintage toy shop in the universe. Good evening, toy people! It's Friday night, it's Monkey's Toy Auction! Let's get the main man in, let's get him in. Good hey. evening, Nick! Hello, son, how you doing? Happy Friday! Happy Friday, dude, yeah. how's it going? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Good week, you? Yeah, all right. I spoke to you a bit this week, you've had some good deliveries, so... Yeah, a few bits turned up and uh, some new new uh, new sources. So we'll we'll see what happens with that. So, um, so tonight we have oh, an amazing yeah. special guest. We have uh, his name is Paul. Lots of you will know him as Toy Scavenger. He's a legend. I'm gonna bring him in. Uh, the street there he is. Yeah, yeah how you doing, Paul? You all right? You all right? You all right, guys? Yeah, mate, yeah. Coming. How are you, dude? Are you well? Good man, good. Yeah, yeah, good man, good man. Yeah, I like that. You've got the hat again. Love the hat. Master <laughs> of ceremonies for the evening. No fuck all, but the master of ceremonies. So, so here's how this is going to work. I'm going to start off the first auction, which I think we're going to start with Vic. Um, lots of people on already. I mean, there's so many comments already. Right. I'm gonna, I'll put some up really quick because uh, we can't. Good evening, Good evening, Alan. Alan. Andy. Alan. This loads in. Andy. 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 Evening, no. Can't think about Mr. McDermott. No. No. So, lots of people in this. It's from Sweden. How are you doing, guys? Sweden. Thanks for coming again. Smugglers Canyon, hello, Dan. Dan. Hey, Dan. Andy, whoop. Well, thank you. Uh, the Welcome community, to everybody. The community we've oh, built up man. around this has been amazing. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you very much. You're very kind, all of you. Really? Right. So, Easy. Sorry, how are you doing, oh. son? We'll come back to all comments and stuff later. Should we start with the first auction and then we can talk to Paul a bit? Let's go. Yeah, yeah, Let's go. go. So, should we start with your first mystery lot then, Vic? Well, there's not much of a mystery, but let's go for it anyway. Um, <laughs> let's go, Lego. Do you want to put a picture up of the. Uh... Um, love Lego. Put, put the main can. picture up, then we'll go through them one at a time. How's that? That's beautiful. Right, good, good. Job there. we've got some poly bags. We've got um, <laughs> a couple of box pieces. There is a there is some uh, there is some crush into the uh, Star Wars box and the uh, Superman versus Batman box, but they're lovely sets. Got some great characters in there. You've got some key pieces. There's also a Simpsons mystery bag, a couple of uh, series yes. sixteen. Take them through it. Take them through it. Sure, oh, come on. Come on. Cut. Cut. Right, we've got Ethan oh, coming oh, up. And pass oh. This is how we roll, right? We just got to, like, cut it. He's got to hold them up. People are going to bid on the side. Don't fuck with the auctioneer. Happy? <laughs> cool. Happy. Let's do it. Come on, right. Vic. Hello, people. Right, we'll start off because we've got Ethan <laughs> coming up very soon. And we might even be let out of jail. So you need a brickhead <laughs> Easter bunny. Look at that. Mint in box. Everyone needs that. Everyone. Beautiful. Very hard to come, boy. I'm not sure what year. I know it's a few years ago. I'm sure you'll find out if you win. Um, <laughs> next, we'll go for the, one of the cooler pieces. We have a Star Wars land speeder. Comes with. What you got there? You got Obi Wan. You got Luke. You got C3PO and a Sand person. Oh, sorry, Tuscan Raider. I'm not allowed to say that, am I? Tuscan Raider. So beautiful. Next, we got Batman versus Superman. He comes in his uh, kryptonite That's armor. Cool. Superman looks angry. He's got red eyes. You've got the bat signal there. You've got harpoons, guns. It's lovely. Beautiful set. 
Lovely. While we're on the Lovely. Superman theme, we have a Superman key ring, Lego. That's a it's torch. A, it's a torch. torch. Yeah. They, the torch. they are great. To go with your key ring, you can have a Batman Lego watch. Right, many figures. Right, they definitely something to we rock. Three. Is there three? One, two, three. You get three sets of Series 16 mystery bags. You could have that banana. You've got a set of the Lego Simpsons. Don't come across these as much anymore. No, they're getting rarer. The monsters. You might get a classic one in there, the Wolfman, or it could be uh, Little Shop of Horrors. You've got some poly bags. You've got a tie fighter. Mm -hmm. Gandalf the Grey. I said that right. A black X Wing. Nice. We have Ninjago. I think that's how you say it. Comes with yeah. the Red Ninja and Madness. Yeah. So don't quite know it's with it. And a creator car, which could be anything. If, if you change it up a bit, you could make that into Night Rider. I know you can. <laughs> that is my Lego lot, people. Let me that know what you think. Lot. I think it's a good, good lot. lot. There's, there's some bits in there that, you know, you don't see as often. It's just fun. Want, if you want to love Lego, I mean, especially, we ain't got a lot of lockdown left. Make sure you use your time building your Lego. Exactly. Do you want to hear my little joke about the little... You just said you could probably build um, Night Rider with that little black car. But yeah, yeah. Do a bit of, kit, bit of kit bashing and, you know, you could do it. Kit bashing? Yeah, I'll get you. <laughs> terrible. Terrible. Because I'm a dad. I, 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 I thought that was good. I've nicked that. I'm using it at the only parks in a season. You're good. <laughs> so, let Paul... Are you a yeah. Lego man? What's come on? Talk to me about Lego while we were while uh, I'm just looking you know at you. I think probably Lego. When I decided to start buying toys again, Lego was one of the first things I actually went and bought. Um, I've got the you know the um, oh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, it's something showdown: Wolverine, Deadpool, and the helicopter. Yeah, yeah, I've got that one myself. Yeah. Comes with the yeah, I love Deadpool. I actually I love him. He's brilliant. And I thought oh, I need I need that. It's going to be a rare, it's a rare kind of character that they sell for like 120 quid now. Ridiculous. I don't know that. It might not I be in my I'll collection pay... much longer. <laughs> I think I paid, um, I think I, yeah, paid like 10, 20 quid when it was just in the shop. Normal. So I thought I'd keep it. You know, it's something I like. So I've got that. I've got a few more bits. Um, I like the, the pirate Lego. Pirate Lego. I've got the, the ships, the buccaneer ships. I love that. I had that as a kid. Yeah, Absolutely exactly. I had it. Lovely. The big galleon, ah, oh, fantastic yeah. stuff. I've I've yeah. actually got one of the islands. Um, I'm not sure if it's 100 yeah, yeah. complete. It's in my stock. It's one of the things yeah. that down the line I will check. But um, it comes yeah. with like some native figures, and then there's like little huts and stuff, and a pirate like yeah. bridge thing. Ah, oh, it's, it's amazing. I do love it. So creative. Like, exactly. Yeah, creative. And it's probably like now with my the franchise. It's even better. Like when we was kids, we yeah. had to imagine them franchises. You had exactly. to build your own. Like we said about exactly. building Night Rider or build your own. Yeah. Uh, even your A team, they done. You know, they done with the. I don't. I can't remember the the electronic Lego thing. They even done a little A team van with Mr T, which I've got. Yeah. I've got A team stuff, and it's amazing. There's a, I'm, on, I'm on a lot of the like groups for masks because I love masks as well. And there's a guy he's making mask Lego, and oh, it's wow. just amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's like, as well as um, Rob, I think he's in here as well. He's doing those Coke can mask things, or those yeah, yeah. The, the models. It's but insane. That crazy. Goes Brilliant. Lot, that goes a lot safer to do it with. I love the Coke cans, and they look amazing. Yeah. But You're you not going to cut yourself. Actually, if you could work out how to make, like, a Lego um, Rhino, and, like, actually had the instructions to build it, that'd be cool yeah. for a kid to do, you know what I mean? If, yeah, oh, if mate, you could yeah. make it, the way it would actually work, you know, and do, yeah. convert into yeah. the Weapon. Well, can I can I interrupt? Obviously, Mr. Pizarro is in again. Hello. Hello. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you know the you thing is I had the two 
Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate the comment, Mr. Smith. I kind of like, yeah, it's a good, I think it's a good look. Look, it's a bit like, he's, he's got the outcome. Okay, I love it. Right, so, um, we are we are flying on this. I've no, oh, hi, that one. Uh, so, Vic, really quick. Hello, sir. Pardon? We got some really good stuff coming up tonight, right? Oh, there's some fantastic gear coming out. I know, I did, I did. <laughs> A little inkling on the uh, toy division on Wednesday. I made a couple of comments just to let people know that we've got some special gear I'll on tonight. Them. So. I saw them. That's good. Hello, Paul was there as well. We was getting mm. involved with Convo. Yeah. Check out toy division yeah. on Wednesday, guys. I don't know what time they start, but they're on for ages. Yeah, it's a good stream. Really good stream. It's like it's, it's great during lockdown. Just get together, you know, and just yeah, and talk, talk to toys. Us. Yeah. Auction has yeah. finished. Hey, how's that? I don't know how much it's gone for. Oh, lovely! Thank you very That's much, good. Jamie. That'll be coming out to you early next week, sir. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we hide down for a minute. There is, there's loads of really nice comments. People are really nice, you know. There's some bloody funny ones in here as well. Um, so uh, <laughs> let's take that one. Let's stop sharing now for a minute. So should we go to auction lot two? So, should we do the Star Wars figure yeah. next? Or do you want to do it? Yeah, do yeah. Do... Let's, let's do it. Keep, keep everybody interested. So, this is Monkey's Auction Lot for... It's a mint on card. Oh, that's that is pretty. It's a yellow eye. Chicken eye. Which sounds dodgy a bit, don't you like? Come on, like, does that not sound a bit like chicken eye proof face? Uh, yeah, PPI. Now, what I'm going to do is, can I put myself on big screen a second? I'm not two seconds yeah. to show up. So it's sealed all the way round. Um, <clears throat> there's no cracks in it. There's, it's a really, it's a proper nice mock. That's nice. That is nice. It's got so oh here we go, everybody will shout at me. The it's got the under tray. Mm. You know the under tray in it? It's the one that's really sort like of it. Yeah, it's really cool. So and that's the yellow eye there. Return of the Jedi, 1983. Nice. The back of the card, fine. Like there's n I can't yeah. see any uh it's a really nice car. They deliberately picked something nice this week because... No, it's very pretty. Well, the last couple of weeks, Vic, you have actually done kicked my ass on a few of the sales. So I was like, oh, I better do something good this week. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a really nice one. Let's get you guys back in. Yeah. <laughs> there's, like, no, there's no creases. There's like no little dog ear things. That's good. That's a good one. Um, I'll leave out the one side. I'm going to put there. There. Should we talk about Star Wars then? We do it every week. Yeah. Inevitably, every week we end up a bloody Star Wars. But um, oh. stuff like this is beautiful and valuable mm -hmm. as it requires. Yeah. And to be honest, I, I haven't got a clue on value on Star Wars. Not a clue. Really? I love it. I love it. I've got a lot of it, but I, as Johnny knows, I was just like, I'm like, oh, no, I don't know, whatever, yeah, whatever. But it just changes so fast. I mean, I'll be honest. Since lockdown, the prices have gone mad. I mean, a lot yeah, of things have gone up. I can't, I can't keep, keep up with the bills. I cried though because I sold a lot of my collection years ago because I had to to start the business, and uh, yeah. the prices that it's gone for. And the guy that bought a lot of it off me, unfortunately, he's not with us anymore. And uh, I never no. know what happened to all the stuff. So, no. um, but yeah, it's very, you know, to come by a mint on card now is serious, you know. Yeah. It's a lovely piece. Exactly. Yeah. It's, you know, this, so, it's, I'm going to do it. I'm going to ask the thing, right? Because you have a lot of high end toys here as well as a lot of other stuff, you have a lot of high-end sealed toys from different toy lines from us, the 80s in particular, let's say. You've decided as a collector to keep them mint in packet. Now, yeah. 
why do you do I when I, I suppose for people at home who maybe don't do that or have never seen people do this type of thing before it does it add to the value do you like I mean obviously it does yeah. but it does it really yeah. make that much of a difference uh, yeah, definitely definitely yeah definitely. I mean and especially when it comes to Star Wars I mean it, you yeah. know it depends on the card it depends on who you know which which film it was whether they were in other movies variants exactly. on the actual like you said, that's the yellow eye one. You know, yeah. chicken yeah. eye, as I like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it depends on what kind of collector you are. I mean, if you're a mint on a mint on card kind of collector, it, it's you know, it's the art as well. Everything it about the art. it is the art. The art. I mean, that, I mean, that, you know, the '80s art is it's just the, it's like the best. The same with like Mars, Star Wars, and like what I've got. Stuff everywhere, just the art, the turtle boxes, the everything. It's just down right. to what you like, Paul. I mean, everyone's the same, but I think the artwork yeah. and nostalgia work. So it's something in our brains that clicks. I mean, today, yeah. uh, Mr. Pizarro's on there, but he's done a deal with a guy and he's picked up a couple of really nice pieces for me today. And they're yeah. Japanese, I do. And the, the box artwork's so beautiful because it's like proper painted artwork as well even probably nicer than the toy inside. I just, you know, it just gets yeah. me, it touches yeah. me. So, and yeah. with Star Wars, it's nostalgia because there's that memory when I walked into Tesco's or Zodiac or Beatty's and they were on the shelf and there was hundreds of them and you just, you was like bewildered. You didn't yeah. know which one you wanted. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. I remember, I remember being, must have been like five or six or something with, and just, like seeing loads of Star Wars in, it was in discount stores. That's the only time I can remember it in shops. Always in a discount store. Always in a discount store. And I, I just remember them all, all over the place. The shop down the road from me, I, just, I can remember being on the pegs. I can remember them being with Action Force at the time and stuff like that. But well, I, I, my my main memory of Star Wars in my head is Tesco's. But I met Dave Prowse in Tesco's as well, dressed as Darth Vader. So that was a wait. You were dressed or he was dressed? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You addressed the staff idea, or he, he, was doing, he was doing a signing like with the toys. It was sort of Return of the Jedi coming out. I mean, I'm old, you know. I, I, <laughs> when they were bringing out Return of the Jedi, he was doing tours around different places dressed as Darth Vader, and it's just ever since then it touched me, you know. And I remember yeah, when they went super discount when they were like about 79p or 89p or whatever in Tesco's, and my yeah. the Iris at the time sport me rotten she was like why haven't you got and she just filled a basket up and she probably only spent about 20 quid but it felt like yeah. she'd bought me all of them yeah. yeah i was just like <laughs> and that, that's so, one uh, of my greatest nostalgic memories of buying star wars as a kid so well, it's a question for you too then what what film's the best or what's your favorite sorry not the best what's your favorite film from star wars probably star wars difficult that, right before we carry on with this question we need to move on to the next lot that has sold it has gone for show me 50 oh, well done, Gabby. nice lovely well done uh, Gavin. i don't know it used to be empire but i've slowly become more attracted to star wars because it's like a complete story i can watch star wars yeah. from start to finish and it's all there it's it, you yeah. don't need any more you don't need any less it is yeah. Kind of perfect in a way. They're going to bring more. They're going to bring more. <laughs> They're going to ram yeah, it down Disney, our road. Disney, Disney do what they do. You know what I mean? So you know I, 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 I'm not going to go on about Disney. It's all right. Nah. What's next? Come on. What's, nah, next? what's next? I know you're a bit rolling. Who wants to go next? Who wants to go next? Come on. You got, I'll let you I guys will. decide. I think, I think Paul should do one of his amazing pieces and then maybe so, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll do some more. Time. I don't know. So I do the two buckies together. If you'd like less, I'll pop you on a big screen. Go right. Ahead. So the two Go buckies on. together. So what I've got up the first one is uh, Willie DeWitt for you. Quite good. There's a little kind of little pressing on the on the side there. I don't know if you can see that. And there. And there. And these are actually they're they're nice. I mean, a slight little bit of a dent there but they're actually from a shipper case so you know you're not really going to get them too much better than these we had loads of them. we had loads from a shipping case i know this is true i know this is true that's, that's quite a few and then this one is a 
Commander nice. Dogstar. His name. I, do you know what? I, I can't remember him in the cartoon because I'm, I'm going to have to watch it back, but he's pretty cool. He's serious. He I looks like, serious. What I love most about them is, again, the artwork. I'm not, I'm of oh, an yeah, age, I don't really know Bucky O'Hare. I've sold it, but I've never really watched it. And I don't so, remember it as a kid, but the artwork, like especially on the front, it looks like hand drawn. Yeah, it's, it is. Yeah, it is. it's right. amazing, and that's what I like about it. It's it's not it's not it's, digitized. It's it, it's no, proper. It's Hasbro as well, right? So they're the same kind of cards as you know the WWF Hasbro's. They're the same kind of cards, same kind of blisters on top. I never they do the same that, thing. They curl slightly different, except they're on that side. You know, the Hasbro's are usually there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They knew what they were doing. <laughs> they knew what they're doing. They knew, but that is like totally nineties. You know, the, the, just the colours as well. The colours. I know. It's like turtles. It's like Toxic Crusaders, Bucky O'Hare. All that stuff pops like with exactly. the nineties. Nineties like music and whatever else people were popping in the nineties. Exactly. And I, I'm gonna. Okay, this is a, little Willie Dewey. He's got. His, his, his glasses have gone orange, so he's now the orange variant. I mean, if they've kind of gone up in the in the uh, over time, yeah. gone a bit a little bit orange. But they make well, him they make him look cool, you know. Well, yeah. I think the glasses. I think the no, I think um, I think they're meant to be that color. I think they are meant oh, to be. They're... Correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody will in the chat. I think they're meant to be that color. I think. Do you know, and and you know. Andy likes his variants. Yeah, I don't, I, dude, I don't want to devalue how nice a card that is. That's a stunning card. Yeah, okay. The cards are good. I mean, like I said, they've got a little bit of pressing there and there on that one. And then on this one, a bit at the top. But that's all from the inside the shipping case. I mean, you can pick, you know, open up a, one of them and they're, they're all over the place. Open another yeah. one and they're absolutely perfect. It's, it's the gamble you take. So but that's those ones. Nice, good ones for you. And both, and that's yeah, both of them yeah. together. Yeah. So yeah. let's do that. I'll bring you back, and then I'll put uh, I'll put your lovely lot on screen. Cheer! Um, this one. Look, I done it all by myself. <laughs> yeah, good. I mean, look at that artwork, man. The artwork's amazing. I, that logo's know, good. It's very, comic, it's very comic book, but I just yeah. So, Say it attracts me just to the card more than the figure. I know the figures are cool and they, they go with yeah. that whole nineties feel with turtles and top sticks and, and you the know. thing is they the figures, they're like they look like the cartoons. Yeah. Whereas you get a lot of a lot of lines that just don't look like what is on T V. You know. He man. And they look yeah. He man don't look like He Man, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Man Jurassic at Park. Man at arms in some of the comics, I haven't even got a moustache, dude. <laughs> Look at some of the That's later true. English artwork we were talking about the other day, John. Oh, dreadful. Yeah, dreadful. Dreadful. The some of the back end uh, adventures of E Man stuff, some of the drawing on that's awful. Anyway, yeah. I don't know. Well, then it, it might be somebody's dad. Um, <laughs> so, so while you're, while you're here, right, we're talking about your first law. <clears throat> I'm just interested. It, I mean, it's not like a formal interview when I'm grilling here. It's, I am genuinely interested. What is your favourite toy? I don't think, you know, I'm not put under press. It's not right wow. or wrong. It's not a man, like, you know, like, you know. My favourite toy line, I would say, yeah. is Mask. So I'd have to pick a toy from that toy line. Um, I've been asked, I was asked it before, which my favourite Mask vehicle, and it was Razorback, because oh, no. it just reminds me, reminds me of those of the like, memories that I had. But, I mean, looking at, other toys, I can't pick one anymore. <laughs> my just, favorite toy I've more... in your room, Paul, is your Indiana Jones on a Kenner card. That's my favorite toy of yours in your room. I can see right now. If I was know, to go, I, got, I could have something from your room. That is beautiful. I got, uh, I got that for a bargain, and I was like, yeah, I, I might sell it. And I might, I might. It's been like four or five years later. I still might. No, nah, I'm not saying. It. Nah, it's mine. Brilliant. That's that one. Just there. Yeah. Because the thing I like, is, I like them. I do like graded stuff. So they look good when they're graded. Yeah. And I've just got Thunder Stick. You can see Thunder Stick. Yeah. I've got yeah. Thunder Stick from um, Brave Star. Again, that's, 
something I was like, oh, I don't really need it, but now now I have it. It's not going anywhere. Um, do you know what? I, I like Jurassic Park quite a lot. I actually, you know what? Actually, sorry, my favourite toy. Just realised. <laughs> favourite toy. <sighs> that one. Okay. It's it's kind of got I've got a little link to my dad who passed away, so it's kind of that's why it's um, special. Why it's my toy. That I'd say favorite. That if I had to get rid of everything, that is the one that's not going anywhere. Anyway, that's it. That's the yeah. one of the reasons I do what I do is because the connection and <sighs> even though I know it's a thing, we shouldn't form attachments to things. The memories link the things can oh, help us do our do. type. You know, yeah, no doubt you do. Um, yeah. So I, I get that. Together completely. We, we can't help it. <laughs> We're only human, anyway. So, yeah. um, right. How we do it? I'm just looking at the auction here. <laughs> uh, I'm literally watching the clock count down. Uh, <laughs> so, thank you, everybody. Let's have a little look. Let's see who's booked it. It'll come up on the screen in a minute. What's this site, did it? I love Friday nights now. <laughs> Something to look forward to. It's good. I used to sit in a van on a Friday night. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, and, we need to have an Oh, yes. UK? Oh. It's right. Thank well, you, Andy. Paul. Thanks, Andy. Right. Toy Vault UK, Paul. He's. Uh, Andy, he's got the most amazing toy, uh, vintage like palette toy, Star Wars mods. Yeah. He really specializes. Nice. We'll go up there one oh, day. Yeah. Really good. Nice. I'll check it out. Thanks, Andy. Thing. I like it when people support each other like us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, uh, that's, that's what it's all about. We're all in it together, really. Show them the great job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hello, Sue. Thank you. Shall we? Shall we bring it? Bring on the. Bring on the. Uh, is it? Is it well, mine? I don't want to say it. It's a surprise, isn't it? You ready, Anne? Well, put the main. Ah, don't put me up. Put the main pick up. Let them see. Let let the people you see. Want to, you want to see the main pick? Okay, yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah, yeah. Then I'll go through. There's them nothing like time. live internet, is there? There's nothing like live internet. Where are we? Where are we? <laughs> oh. Give us a second, that will come through. There it is. Right. We've got a lovely Star Wars pop lot here, guys. All your favourite characters. To be fair, there's some cool ones here. There's some really cool ones, but then it's prob most of them are from probably Disney's best Star Wars movie so far, outside The Mandalorian. You've got, um, you've got quite a few there from Rogue One, and there's one or two from uh, Let's Not Talk About It's Last Jedi. Um, but Rogue One's what I'm referring to. I've got them all yeah. out now. They're ready to come on screen. We'll start with the... Uh, get your toys out. Room. Come on, Beth. get your toys out. Right, people. This is probably the better figure from The uh, the Last Jedi. BB-9, like he's evil. That's why he's <laughs> black, and he's got E at the end. PTSD Luke Skywalker. He gets, <laughs> he's always stressed and he throws his stuff out of the pram. This is a cool character. Plays Malgus. Loved him. Thought his character was amazing. Really enjoyed the movie. Like the big gun. So, you can't have Baze without Chirrut. Probably the first or second best character in that movie. It's between him and K2SO. They were both really, really cool. I love the fact that they included Donnie Yen and he's done it. He got a bit of martial arts, used the force. Did he use the force? Didn't he? Who knows? He's, he's a bit special. While we're there, we, had, we got introduced to the Death Troopers. Nah, great characters, talking funny code. Have been in the Mandalorian recently as well. Just to let you guys know, Mandalorian, Death Troopers. While we're there, we've got CTB5. I don't remember him from the show, but it's a, it's an Imperial Arts astromech, basically. 
I'm sure I took some of that on holiday once in Ibiza. What, CTB5? (laughs) 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 Woke up in a daze in a in a in a rocky pit. (laughs) While we're still on the uh, Rogue One, another cool character, director credit, really enjoyed him. Is a good one. Now, these ain't all perfect. They, they, they've never been out of the boxes, mm-hmm. but there might be the odd like curl or whatever, but most of them are in really nice condition. Uh, we'll save the best till last. Here's one that I forgot from the... Actually, this is from the film before, False Awakens. Nina. So you can pretend he's from Return of the Jedi. He doesn't have to be from Disney. He was there going... <laughs> And like, I'm sure yeah. it was Lando and said, English motherfucker, do you speak it? But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last but not least, we've got the unmasked staff of the Vaders. Now, this could be good for Easter, you know. Yeah. But yeah, pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. So that's, that, that, is, that is the Popolicious tonight. They're all Star Wars. There's some main characters there. Let me know what you think, guys. Um, what did you think of Rogue One anyway, Paul? I'll beat the droid. I went to the cinema to see that. I didn't expect it. I, I, I was thinking that this is going to be all right. But yeah, I, li- I liked it. It's good. It's, do you know what? I'll probably be judged, but it's not my favourite new one. But um, it's probably my second favourite new one. I, I like The Force Awakens, to be honest. I, Can we go I kept watching we- I want to ask a question by her then, right? What's your feeling yeah. on Pops then? Because... Okay. It's all, so I, I want to sell these. Do you mind? No, I, I have think, some. I, I, think, I, think, <laughs> I think this is good. Trust me. I have some like down there, Daniel. I've got a Ghostbuster one, a Slimer and a Vinkman. Um, again, that's got a, a link to my dad. And then um, my wife's bought me a few as well. So I do like them, like particular characters. And I've got, have I got any Star Wars ones? No, I ain't got any Star Wars. I just actually I picked up a Batman Forever um, Two Face Heartlight one the other day in Tesco. Oh, I, was, I was like, I have to have that. So I just love that character. My, but, yeah, my, they're great. You know, kind of like my feeling is like I'll ask Vic as well is the great. I mean, I don't see him as a replacement to a vintage figure. No. I see him more as there's certain things that came out that they haven't done anything for and a pop kind of just. I do get that. It does. Slot straight. It does. It does. Yeah. Do you feel that way, Vic, or, or are you? Yeah, just... I feel that way. I mean, that's the truth because up until recently, I didn't have a Judge Dread figure, which I do. There's one there behind me, um, and I had a Judge Dread pop because yeah, the Judge Dread figures are not cheap to come by. Uh, and I love yeah. Judge Dread. I love Judge Dread, and again, it's a connection to my father because. He was into Judge Dredd before me. He read it when Judge Dredd come out because he was a bit of a, you know, I've talked before about him. He was a collector. But in the late 70s, he was a bit of a punk and a bit of a rogue, I assume. He liked, you know, all that sort of gear. So, um, yeah, I've always, and I've still got the Judge Dredd pop. So I have got a pop in my collection and it's Judge Dredd. Um, I mean, but at the time, it filled that hole. Do you know what I mean? If they brought exactly. out a Remo Williams pop, I would buy it because there's nothing Remo Williams out there. Now, I know Dan's probably watching the show right now from the toy division and probably agreeing with me. We need to do something. We need Remo Williams in our lives. Anyway, I'll stop promoting that movie. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah. That that lot that you've got there, that Star Wars lot, that's like, if if you don't collect Funkos, that is like a starter Star Wars Funko collection. It's it's a good one. So, and there's yeah. a nice, you know, if you like, right? It's hard not to like Rogue One as a film, to be honest. I don't, yeah. I haven't met many people that said Rogue One was yeah. terrible. I've had people that, say it's unnecessary, of... but they have, they yeah. still enjoyed the movie. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I mean, that end, the end was just, just stunning to me. Loved it. Really like that. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. I mean, I just, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder because the movie was cut so much. From the yeah. original director, if they'd ever bring mm. out the original director's cut, like they're doing the Schneider cut for uh, Justice League, just to see an alternative yeah. ending or scenes on it, because there was apparently yeah. more of a battle on the Scarif planes and 
people there's the bit, riding the ways. There's so the trailer, isn't there? There's the, the trailer where the tie fire comes up against against yeah, uh, yeah, was it Jen? Jen. Jen. See that? And she had the the pack in her hand and all that. So yeah, no, it was great. Yeah. Oh, there's found, all these movies. There's, there must be thousands of different versions of movies out there that we just don't get to see. So, yeah, you very true. Mm. Very true. Um, uh, this, as, as she's wrapping up this one, and we move on to the next one, um, it's gone quite. It's gone good, I think. I don't know. Well, look, um, <clears throat> somebody's asking uh, Jake Lee Thompson, show me a Leonardo Minton card. That ain't me. I'll put the police on the end. I've got one. Come on in. I've got one. I've got, I've got one above. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I've got my phone's plugged in, so let me have to unplug it. Hold on. Let's see if it's there. Uh, see that? Oh, lovely. Boom. Boom. In a clinic um, and everything. Graded. And then signed by Kevin Eastman as well. <laughs> oh wow! Oh. That's um, where's Leo? There's Leo at the top up there. Um, that's a one of a kind. That one, I was quite happy with that. Um, I got that made myself because I thought I, I want something special that no one else has got. And because I, I mean, yeah, that's great. I bought that a few years back, but and I can't afford, you know, scratch or whatever the other hotspot or whether these. I can't afford any of that kind of stuff. Do you like so, them? Do you need them? What I mean is, um, I know they're rare and lovely, but do they mean anything? I need the turtles. I need, I need the four turtles, and I need Shredder, and I need... I've got Shredder up there. And then the, the first ten... Yeah. And then I've just bought uh, Baxter Stockman, and I've realised I want Rat King as well. So, it's again, it's the card art and the way they look on card and just... Yeah. I mean, I I'll know. stop there. I won't go any further. That, that'll be it. There's some, there's some rabbit holes you can go down. I'm not going down that one, so... Oh, I, I own one in my collection, and that's Raf Mint on an eight pack, like you've got yeah. up there. But I, I have said to myself, if I ever come across a Shredder or a Rocksteady at the right price, I would buy yeah, exactly. them. But they'll be the only two for me because otherwise, it'll get out of hand. And I'll need all the turtles, all the bad guys, like all the original bad guys, you know, like your Rocksteady yeah. Bebop. Just your, keep going. Your Foot Soldier, your Rat King, your. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Neck do, is. You get the first lot in on card and then you just carry on loose because that's what I've done. But I've stopped. I've had to stop because got, they I've make insane girls. I mean, I've got a full set loose that I've kept for myself anyway. That's what I do yeah. with collection. With you know, when I try not to dabble too much, I'll just get them loose exactly. and have a few. So yeah, same here. Yeah, same here. That's what I've done with Brave Star, and then I'm jealous because you've got all the nice box ones behind you. I picked, you know, like, I picked the, the two of them up, the two. I picked them up really cheap, really cheap, ages ago. And I've, I've just, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to sell them again. But, you know, I, just something that I like. I, I don't even remember watching the cartoon as a kid. I remember seeing it in shops. And then I, I remember seeing the end of it at, like, 7 o'clock in the morning on Channel 4 because I missed it. But I it's something gun, I've kind of... I had the gun before I had any of the toys or watched the cartoon. And that's... Just because yeah. I like toy guns, and I think my dad again always picked up stuff on sale and cheap. And I, yeah, it, it exactly. amazed me. Like, I've got to get the toys because they interact with it, and that's where it went for me. With exactly. Star. Sorry, sorry. Let's end chat. Big C's in the house. Sorry, Big C. Good evening, <laughs> Big C. Big C, so, I've got some uh, action man for you or GI Joe Hall of Fame. Don't worry, I'll be in contact. We'll uh, we'll speak soon. Wicked. So, should we move on to the last lot? No, it's not the last, uh, no, it's not the last lot, is it? No. Who's next? We're I've lost back. And we're going over to the chat. Who's next? Where are we at? I don't even remember what we were doing. We were doing my pops. Yeah, pops. Yeah. <laughs> Did they sell? Have we done the Oh, no, I mean, close. You know what? That was because I was so busy looking at the comments. It's dangerous, this, you know. Where did I finish? What up, Queen? It's coming up on the screen, I think. I, come in, come in, come in, Vic. Madison. Madison! Hey! Well, I'll have to meet you early next week, Madison. Cheers. 
Um, so, where are we? Where are we? So, I'm gonna put them back in the box. Need them back in the box. So, Paul, shall we go over to Yuba? Yeah. yeah, do you want to uh, do Spider Man? Come on, show us your toys. Got, right, so yeah, Spider Man, you've got the toys. Right, one of them. Smythe, is it how you pronounce it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've. Like the toy shop. The car, Sorry? Like the toy shop. Smythe. Yeah. Smith, Smith. Yeah, Smythe. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So that's a nice, that's actually a really nice one. Nice and flat. I don't think there's any. No, no cracks or anything. No, it's all fully sealed. Uh, this one's from America, I think. Because you've got is that K America? Kmart you've got Kmart, uh, Kmart sticker Lovely. on that one. Oh, no. Do you know what? This, this line's great, uh, really good. So, I've got Peter Parker, you know, Peter Parker with that. Um, obviously, Spider Man, and then. This one's got like a crease down the centre on there. But the blister's good. The bubble's good on it. I think Toy Biz absolutely knocked it out of the park with these ones. And then I've got a, a big oh, 12, that's nice. 10-inch, ten, ten, ten inch, ten inch, uh, I'll get in there, in there Spider-Man. Um, it is, is it sealed? A mm, little bit on top. Ten inch. Just saying, it's a 10 inch. It's a typical man. He thinks yeah. it's 12. A little bit sealed on the bottom. Uh, on the bottom, though, it's open uh, there. And you've got like a slice on there. Like, a little bit of tape that, when it's like that on the bottom. It's never been taken out. It's, it's like mean. new one. It's a mint one. Absolutely mint. Really good one. Uh, deluxe. Yeah, deluxe edition with accessory included. You know, I don't know what accessory Spider-Man had. But, oh, there you go. A bit of web. You can see it on the inside. That's a lovely piece, sir. I love the box art, and I love the window box with it. It's nice to display. Really, really cool. Yeah. It's a good one. I mean, like I said, I think Toy Biz here had a park with um, with Spider Man. I've, I've got quite a few of them, and I've been like selling a few as well. But they're they're just great. Really, really good figures. Um, it was a request for me tempting. to wear a hat, so I quickly <laughs> got one. Oh, yeah. we'll go wear a hat. I mean, hat, so I'm not sure which one. I don't know. I love I, I go get my other one. You tell him about it. I'll go get another one. I'll be back now. <laughs> I mean, What's like, I'm, I'm very that? tempted to collect these uh, loose. In, uh, I've collected the X Men, so I think I might collect them loose. But I ain't got I no room for really them. Nice. I, know, I know Tom Pizarro's pieces got a beautiful collection of mint on card um, yeah. examples. Yeah, I've been pissed off. Here we go. That's a, good one. That's a proper hat. Go. I need the deer stalker okay. in my life. I've got, I've got to get a deer stalker. I can't believe I ain't got one. I need a new hat. I need a new one. I seem to wear this I all the like, time. I like, I like looking a bit of a twat. I enjoy it. Right. Me too. The man who would be king, if only. So, uh, <laughs> so we just having a conversation at the bottom. They're talking about protective cases. Now, I, I, I know a bit about acrylic cases, but yeah, it's all on my Zolo. Is it Zolo? Yeah. Zolo. My biggest problem, my biggest problem with the clamshell cases, I don't think I found a company that does this side that's affordable, really, in comparison yeah. to what the value of the figure is. Maybe I don't know, but they, I know they yeah. do acrylic cases for these, and they're about twenty five yeah. quid. The turtle cases. How much is a turtle case? Twenty five quid. Don't know. I mean, that's why I send them things off to be graded because I, I want it in the case, and I think, well, I might as well get the grade included for an extra couple of quid. So, yeah, it's just not going to cost you that much more. That's what my mate, my pal James, yeah. was telling me the other day is going. But you might get it graded for that extra few yeah. quid. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna, to come back, is, big the shout eight. out! Big, big shout out to GW Acrylics. Tom's reminded me they are really good, and they do like bespoke stuff as well. You know, if you want something with a letter in or like, yeah, oh yeah. They, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's really Shame good. Man. So, my my question is, Spider Man. I asked a few weeks, who was your favourite villain, right? Because mm -hmm. I had to do that. 
this week I thought I'd ask who is your favorite companion or uh, person? Yeah. Well, in, in Spider Man. Yeah, in the world, man. In that. In that. Uh... Um, I'm gonna say the Black Cat because I went to a fancy dress party as Spider Man, and my wife went as a Black Cat. So. <laughs> it's good news. You don't want to get clawed later. No. <laughs> Next. What's that? Uh, it would be his governor. Oh, what's his name? You know, John J- J- uh, J- Jameson. Jameson. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah I think he's, he's brilliant. I, I love the fact yeah. they brought him back into the Marvel universe as well, like the MCU. That was great. That was, that was great. That was a big so, shock. That was a really good shock. That's a good one. I mean, I like love that. him in the comics and the cartoons, but when they actually brought him back live action and he made that part his own, you know what I mean? Excellent. Exactly. He's lost a bit of hair now, but, you know, we all do. So. Haven't we all? I mean, look. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, everybody's getting on really nice in the chat. And, and we were just saying, yeah. it's quite it, like, because you've got the bids coming in and you've got comments coming in and we're trying to keep it all managed and everything. So everybody's really nice. I think during the lockdown, the one thing has come across to me is that we everybody's been quite cool and kind with everybody, you know? But yeah. the Friday night auctions, right? There's been some right characters on you. And this stuff, this yeah. uh, Spider-Man lot, it's just the type of thing for them. Like, they like it. But it is going to finish soon. It is going to finish soon. So... Oh, I shouldn't yeah, have said I'm that. Just I'm just me off. I from stay away from other superheroes. I was trying to stick it to, like, normal people that are in his life. <laughs> Otherwise, he'd be Punisher all that long. <laughs> yeah, Punisher's a good one. Really one. I mean, everyone always... They always say uh, Venom, didn't they? Venom Carnage. But Green yeah, Goblin's yeah. good. Green Goblin's great. I've, I've, I've got that. I'm, I've got one of the figures. I'm keeping that one. That's one of my faves. I'll be. That's one of my favourite pieces about to, the Tobey Maguire movies is the Green Goblin. Not mm. the suit, but uh, William Dafoe Ooh. is Aye. fucking Brilliant. amazing character Absolutely actor. Amazing, yeah. Oh, should have yeah. been a Joker at some point. No. He's great no. everything, yeah. Yeah, Perfect. he's yeah. just made for it. <laughs> yeah. Sold. 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 We sold it. Bang! Who to? Devil's gone down. So to well Chris. Done, Chris, thirty-eight pounds. Well, Chris, well done. I'll get out to you. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you to hey. everybody who's bid well, we tonight. Any more? Is it? Yeah, we got oh, another one yet. One Thank you for everybody's bid tonight. We we haven't got long yeah. left, but we have a lovely piece coming up. <sighs> Go for it. This is the the final lot tonight. Courtesy of Me? Paul the Scavenger. Yeah, Go on. Okay. Right. Cool. Beautiful. Right, so we've had Bucky yeah. O'Hare already, haven't we? But I thought we'll do a graded piece. So Dead Eye Duck with Bucky oh, O'Hare. Oh, wow. What a character. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Comes with a nice little poly bag as well, keeping us safe. There you go. So it's graded 85 on that one. Nice. 85. And I think it's, it's a 90 figure, a 90 blister, and an 85 card. And that's a good one. So uh, to give you an idea, I usually sell the, the dead, dead Eyes around 180. I sold one today for 180. But you can grab yourself a bargain if you are bidding on this one. So great. Oh, and again, yeah. they are on the back. The card is not. Do you know what? It should be a ninety, to be honest. I mean, I can't. I can't figure out what their their grading system is and how they how they actually come up with it. But the card's eighty five. The overall score is eighty five. So, uh, look at it. There's, there's no. I'm trying not to say toy polloi. I'm trying not to say toy polloi. Stop <laughs> it. Stop <laughs> it. There's no. Um, yeah, there's no it's lovely, it is a lovely piece. I mm-hmm. mean, the artwork is no it's, it's beautiful. It really is. There's no flaws in that one at all, I'd say. 
It should have been a 90. It's an 85. Um, Dead Eye. Did, did you watch? Did you ever watch the cartoons? Yep. I I yeah. haven't. No, I'm, I'm too old. Sorry. And he's the one with the four arm. He's got four arms, four guns. Is the is like one is like the hand solo? Would you say the hand solo? Yeah. He's, like, he's the pilot, and he's got yeah, one yeah. eye with four arms. It's hilarious. Yeah. I just like the fact that he's got four arms, which means he's got four guns, and he's a duck. I mean, he's yeah. like. With an yeah. with a well, suit and guns. What else do you need? Brilliant. What else do you need for that? Yeah, I think the whole Bucky O'Hare, the whole idea of it is brilliant. Like, and, I want to. You've got hair will, in space. I will visit it. I keep promising myself because I'll be honest. I've had this conversation with my guys like Ken and Tom and stuff, but I've never actually. I, I don't even know how I missed it when I was younger, to be honest. But I did. It was just. I've found it. Long I've had yeah. it. I just, uh, I just went the by. I love, I the love the way the, fig the figures are. They're, they're, they're a great scale. They're solid. They've got great accessories. And like you say, they look like the cartoon character. Yeah, I mean, you got all the different. Well, I think there's on the back. It shows you there's six from the the uh, good guys, and then four from the bad guys because it's Toad. Because you can just basically army build when you're doing it with um, the Storm Tro Toad Troopers. I wonder where they got that name from. Um, <laughs> I mean, you can I mean, just army my, with him. My, my story about these is I, when I actually picked these up to sell, I found them while I was on a, a, a shindig in Ibiza with some of the boys. And uh, <laughs> I, went into a, I went into one of these funny little Spanish shops that weren't a sweet shop, but it, you know, yeah. done a bit of everything. And he had these Bucky O'Hare figures on the, just on the counter. And I was like, you know, how much are they? And they were like, I think they were like eight euros. It was literally when they just turned <laughs> yeah. to the euro. And I was like, fuck it, I'll have them all. You know what I mean? And I just tucked right. them away. I, I, it was mad. They were just there. Do you know what I mean? And well, uh, was you slightly confused about seeing a duck, a hare, a baboon, and all that in one? <laughs> You're in Ibiza. You yeah, don't know yeah, what, I mean, what, I knew what. I knew it was an older toy line, but I knew for eight euros, see me, I'm terrible. I've, I've got yeah, what I, I call a dungeon of doom, which is a basement at my auntie's that I rent. And I just yeah. throw stuff down there. It's a bit bad because I do actually literally throw it sometimes. I throw <laughs> stuff down there and then I do a little treasure hunt. I've done some videos for Johnny and I go down there with a torch and that and I, I dig stuff out that I forgot I bought. And uh, it, they ended up down there for a few years. But I did. A, I sold them maybe three or four years ago. But literally, yeah. I must have bought them 10 years ago. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I was just shocked to go into a sweet shop and see vintage toys do you know what i mean it was like have you got anything else what else you know got what I mean? yeah. i'm gonna got come down here yeah. but like i'm ready to buy toys you know what yeah. i mean exactly. get my alcohol yeah. get my vintage toys brilliant oh it's all coming yeah. in there's kebab oh he's talking to other people i know i'm trying there's loads going on in the chat it's good man i think it's called yeah. community and I'm trying to keep. Yeah. I love this. Is my favourite comment. This is my favourite <laughs> comment. That's fantastic. Is this <laughs> right? Pete at the end message me right, and I'm going to give you credit for the website for that comment. That is brilliant. <laughs> message <laughs> me in right. the Brilliant. That was all uh, down to a comment from someone called Dave, I believe. On here, he said I wasn't wearing a hat, so I thought I'd better grab one quick. Well Put done, Dave. Well done, Dave. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I don't know how many more weeks we're going to carry on doing this, but um, I don't know what we're going to do Forever. now. But Forever. this week, this week we've had uh, obviously the legendary toy scavenger Paul. He's lovely. Oh, uh, don't <laughs> me. It's fine. Dude, you know, like everybody's been kind during lockdown, and we've all tried to share the love. Yeah. And it's important because. Definitely. Like these are toys, wonderful things, and they, this escapism. But with what's going on in the world, Jesus Christ, let's just have a nice time. So, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, um, so thank you very much. Is there anything you want to plug before you go? Or? Uh, website, uh, thetoyscavenger.com. I've got loads of stuff coming on there. I just need the time to do it. And as, as, as soon as I list anything, I'll start posting it on Instagram. I've got a YouTube channel that I'm going to start building up. Um, again, at the moment, I don't get any time to do videos because it's locked in lockdown. I've got the whole family around. Yeah, but you've got a, you've got a toddler while. and a baby on the way as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. He's got another one on the way. Oh, congratulations, man. Thank you very much. 
Cheers. Congratulations. <laughs> there are people up and down this fight nation who are homeschooling still, who are folding down full-time jobs, running small businesses, looking after kids. Respect to you all. The bids yeah, are definitely. in. Shall we see the final bid? What we got? Yeah, come on. Let's have a drum roll. Nice. Thank you, Brett. I will get that out to you. That's good. That, thank you very much. No, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. That's fantastic. Thank you, Troy. Uh, so thank you to everybody who's joined us tonight. You a lot are wonderful. Like there's so many people to mention. It's Boom. that's it's, right. It's humbling. It is quite humbling, right? It because it it's very humbling. Thank you very much. Vic, should we do something next week? Definitely, sir. Definitely. I don't know who we've got coming on now. We'll we'll work something out. We'll see. We'll (laughs) we'll be going fishing. Thanks for having me, guys. Really appreciate it. Go to go to the toy scavenger. Following, tell your friends, have fun. Yeah. (laughs) Where's the the big call the toy scavenger? Hundred and sixty-five. Way. (laughs) Way. Thank you very much. Right. Brilliant. Hopefully we see you guys next week. So your family, your friends, we'll be here. Your mom, the fan, sister. How long are we going to be here for? We share it on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Share it. <laughs> Love the chaps. Bye. Bye. Bye.